Hi, Dr. Beth here, and welcome to another episode of The More You Know. This week, we're gonna finish our last video on diabetes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on diet. Um, so we've covered that diabetes is a disease caused by too much sugar in the blood, and that's caused by insulin resistance. So this, again, insulin resistance happens when your body has insulin, but it's not able to use it effectively to pull the sugar out of the blood and store it safely in the cells. So what we're gonna talk about is what causes that insulin resistance in the first place, and hint, it's something that you eat every single day. So one of the most common recommendations for people after a diabetes diagnosis is to eat a low carbohydrate diet. And why? Because carbohydrates are one of the main sources of sugar in our blood. So the thought process is by decreasing the amount of carbs we eat, we're gonna decrease the amount of sugar in the blood and we're gonna treat the diabetes. The problem with this approach and mindset is that we're treating the symptom of the disease. We're trying to just decrease the sugar instead of looking at the root cause of the disease, which is actually insulin resistance or the inability of insulin to do its job. Um, so by focusing on the insulin resistance and how we can actually make that better and make your body more sensitive to insulin, it's a much better approach and it helps people much more effectively manage their diabetes long term. Insulin resistance is actually caused by having too much fat in our diets, um, not necessarily too many carbohydrates or too many sugars. So when we have too much fat in our diets, it keeps insulin from transporting sugar into the cells. Because guess what? Insulin is also responsible for transporting fat into the cells. So they kind of compete for each other. So when we have too much fat in our bloodstream, uh, the insulin chooses the fat to transport into the cells over the sugars. So it's kind of a competitive. So when we have too much fat in our bodies, the body can't actively select pulling sugar out because it's too busy pulling the fat out. And the biggest culprit seems to be saturated fats. And saturated fats are the fats that you're gonna find mostly, mainly, in animal products. So all of your meat, dairy, and eggs, okay? So that seems to put the heaviest load on insulin, keeping it from doing its primary role of taking the sugar into the cells. So by simply reducing the amount of fat you're taking into your body every day and replacing it by taking in more carbohydrates, your body's able to flip back to focusing on pulling the sugars out of the blood instead of only pulling fat out of the blood. On the flip side, if you eat a low carb diet that's high in protein and fat, your body's just gonna pull that fat out of the bloodstream and it's gonna leave the sugars in there leading to higher insulin resistance, okay? So your sugars might drop, but your insulin resistance is going to maintain high, meaning it's gonna be difficult to manage the underlying cause of the disease. So instead, by focusing on a diet that is plant-based and high in carbohydrates, so eating lots of fruits, veggies, whole grains, and all those legumes, um, it might feel like the opposite of what your physician told you to do, okay? But it actually is gonna help you manage this disease long-term. So for folks that are already diabetic, whether you're on oral medications or on insulin, we don't recommend making these changes without the supervision of a healthcare provider. So whether you're working with a nutritionist or your physician, um, please work with somebody because as you change your diet, or as you add an exercise from some of the earlier videos, we anticipate your insulin resistance is going to drop, meaning you're gonna be more effectively be able to manage your sugars on your own without the need of medication, and you're probably gonna need those medications adjusted slowly over time as your body starts to heal. Now, this is just a very short snippet of everything I've learned over the past couple of months, but for a more in-depth look, I recommend reading the book or visiting the website for Mastering Diabetes um, because it is a wealth of information and I have so many great success stories.